semifinal is set, and now off to the bottom of the bracket at CPKC Stadium in Kansas City. Match number three of four today. The 10 seed, Baylor, after the upset of Arizona in round one, meeting the two seed, Texas Tech. Three stopped over. The cross coming in, good ball, and it's in! Texas Tech gets the equalizer in the 10th minute. Taylor Szerzeski on the end of that, the sophomore forward with her ninth goal of the year. And Tech did this with their pressure. They did a great job of not allowing Baylor out. Got on the end of this nice corner and sacrificed herself going against two Baylor defenders to show how strong she is in the air. Well, guess who on the delivery, too? It's the defender of the year, Macy Blackburn, another assist. How many was that for her? Well, last year it was 11. This year she is now up to into the box. Falls and not hit firmly by Augustine. It fell so nice for her, but Wynn thanking her for that. And Wynn did a good job closing off the angle. I think she was surprised she got it. Didn't get enough power on it, and Wynn did a good job closing off that gap. Looking for an option, Blackburn. Parsons near post. Goal kick. When you have a strong defender that can combine in possession, just such a dangerous team in the attack. Blackburn gets involved. Baylor really doesn't know what to do, whether to step to her or to back off. And Parsons with a great turn. Almost caught Alvarez off guard of that near post. Taking it away that time. Now feeding it inside. Giametta Williams. One time shot. Didn't have a ton of heat behind it. Talked about Tech's pressure is very, very important to their game, and they're doing a good job of not letting Baylor out. Did a great backdoor run. Got her head up. Astro Williams got to the end of it, but Alvarez following her through, knowing where the ball was going to be played for a shot. Alana Harry now cuts around Colbert. Harry with the left foot and a good save by Alvarez. Not completely cleared and cl sent right back from Shergesburn. Is there a late goal in this first half? Blackburn turning, looking for space. Blackburn to her left foot, and it's pushed over by Alvarez. A great save by Azul Alvarez. But what a great job by Blackburn in creating it. She had the ball at her feet a lot of time with two players around her. Nice placement. Alvarez got a little bit of a tip on it to keep it out of the goal. And if it's not a goal call, then frustration from Tech. I mean, that is three feet into the net. All right, here we come. gives Texas Tech the lead really with basically nothing left in this half. Really impressed. Good touch there by Augustine. Lays for Isgrig. Isgrig again! And it's what a save! Faith Wynn pushes it wide. It looked like Isgrig had leveled it. For Baylor, that's the player you want to have the shot. Such a good job in a tight area. Finding an opening. Win with an amazing save. The ball's moving fast on this grass. She follows through and pushes it wide. Is Greg trying to go near Tech? Advances after a fantastic match. Ends 2-1 in the favor of the Red Raiders. What a game. That was an impressive battle by both teams. Tech with the win, but Baylor was competing the whole time. The opening goal scored by Baylor is Tyler Isgrig, but it was Scherczewski right there with the equalizer in the 10th minute. And the game winner came at the end of the first half on an unusual play from a timing standpoint in the corner in general. Story Sexton getting that goal. Let's take a look back.